Dear students, today we are going to learn a poem Cherry Tree written by Ruskin Bond. Ruskin Bond wrote a lot of short stories, essays, poems and novelas. In 1992, he received the Sahitya Akadmi Award for English Writing in India. He was also awarded the Padma Sri in 1999. The poem Cherry Tree expresses the poet's great joy over a cherry tree which he planted eight years ago. The poet does not take care of the tree. The tree grows without any care. He wonders how the cherry blossoms and gets immense joy by observing his own cherry tree. The poem motivates all the readers for tree plantation. In this short video lecture, you will learn new words from the poem, explanation of the poem in English, poetic devices and appreciation of the poem. Cherry tree is the first poem in second section. You know, second section is poetry section. Let's learn new words from the poem. S-C-Y-T-H-E Scythe means a tool with a long curved blade which is used to cut grass etc. Blight means causing damage. Shriveled means dried. Slender means thin. Thirst means push with force. Fierce means aggressive. Lust means strong desire. Berry means a small fruit. Blossoms means flowers that bloom on trees. Fragile means easily broken or easily damaged. Merest means slightest. Slippiest breeze means the gentlest puff of wind. Finches means small singing birds. Flitter means flew quickly. Dappled means having light patches. Ecstasy means the feeling of great happiness. Nectar means sweet liquid produced by flowers. Swiftly means quickly or rapidly. Moon moths means insects. Let's learn the poetic stanzas. Cherry Tree by Ruskin Bond. Eight years have passed since I placed my cherry seed in the grass. Must have a tree of my own, I said, and watered it once and went to bed and forgot. But cherries have a way of growing, though no one's caring very much or knowing. Now here, the poet tells us, eight years ago, the poet had a dream to have his own cherry tree. So, he sowed cherry seed in the grass. He watered it once and forgot about it. In spite of the poet's carelessness, the cherry plant survived. The poet tells here, cherries have a way of growing, though no one's caring very much or knowing. The cherry plant was growing without the poet's caring. The poet planted the seed of cherry and forgot about it. And suddenly, that summer, near the end of May, I found a tree had come to stay. It was very small, five months child, lost in the tall grass running wild. The poet tells us that summer, at the end of May, he found a cherry plant. The plant was very small. The poet calls it five months child. The cherry plant was lost in the tall wild grass. 
now here the poet describes the plant as a child of five months here the plant of cherry is personified we may call this is an example of personification the plant is described as a child as a person goats ate the leaves the grass cutter scythe split it apart and a monsoon blight shriveled the slender stem even so next spring i watched three new shoots grow the young tree struggle upward thirst it arms in a fresh fierce lust for light and air and sun the cherry plant faced many problems while growing goats ate its leaves a grass cutter hacked it with the sharp cutting blade and the plant was withered in the monsoon because of a disease the thin stem was completely dried now here the poet describes difficult situation faced by the cherry plant the next spring the poet watched that the plant had three new shoots the plant struggled hard to grow and to get light air and sun rays now here the poet describes difficult situation of cherry plant the plant faced a lot of problems and the plant was growing i could only wait as one who watched wandering while time and the rain made a miracle from green growing pain now here the poet tells us the poet just waited the poet watched the growing cherry plant time and the rain made a miracle miracle means magic the painful process of the growth of the plant is described as a miracle i went away next year spent a season in kashmir came back thinner rather poor but reached by a cherry tree at my door the poet went away to kashmir and returned home after a season he came back thinner without much money but he felt so proud of his own cherry tree so he calls himself reacher by a cherry tree which was growing at his door 6 feet high my own dark cherry and i could scarcely believe it a berry ripened and jeweled in the sun hung from a branch just one here the poet describes the cherry plant now the plant was 6 feet high the poet couldn't believe that there was actually a ripe red cherry hanging from a branch and next year there were blossoms small pink fragile quick to fall at the merest breath the slippiest breeze the next year the tree had delicate cherry blossoms the pink colored blossoms were so delicate and fragile that they would fall at the breath or the gentlest puff of wind now here the poet describes beautiful blossoms of cherry plant blossoms were pink fragile and quick to fall now here ideas are given in ascending order we call it example of climax i lie on the grass at ease looking up through leaves at the blue blind sky at the finches as they flew and flitted through the dappled green in this stanza the poet talks about the present situation of the cherry tree the poet is lying 
on the grass under the tree looking up the evening sky the poet watched the finches flew quickly through the dappled green leaves now here the poet describes present situation of the tree the poet was lying on the grass under the tree and he looked the scene it was evening time and small singing birds finches were going somewhere <coughs> and the poet was watching all these things while bees in an ecstasy drank of nectar from each bloom and the sun sank swiftly and the stars turned in the sky and moon moths and singing crickets and i yes i praised night and stars and tree the small the cherry grown by me ruskin bond now here at last the poet tells us bees drank nectar from each bloom very happily the sun set quickly and the stars appeared in the sky insects like crickets were singing the poet praised everything the poet praised night the poet praised stars the poet praised the tree the poet's heart sang with joy by watching his cherry tree planted so many years ago <coughs> now in this way throughout the poem cherry tree is described as a person cherry tree is personified or we may say the entire poem is a story of a cherry tree given in a poetic form now in this way the poem ends here the poem is very simple by reading the poem for first time you may understand theme of the poem poetic devices are also called figures of a speech in this poem the poet has used some poetic devices such as alliteration antithesis personification climax etc now we will learn these devices one by one number 1 alliteration repetition of a consonant sound in two or more neighboring words is called alliteration the repeated sounds are usually the first or initial sounds now remember here repetition of a consonant sound especially at the beginning of the word is called alliteration now see an example of alliteration made a miracle from green growing pain now in this example green growing pain here sound g is repeated sound g g comes twice so this is an example of alliteration find out some other examples of alliteration from the poem antithesis in this figure of speech two opposite ideas or words are brought together remember anti means opposite and thesis means idea opposite ideas are brought together for example came back thinner rather poor but reached by a cherry tree at my door now here poor and reached these words are opposite words so this is an example of antithesis personification personification is a figure of speech where non living objects are described like people non human objects act like human beings or we may say human qualities are given to non human things look at the example it was very small five months child now in this example cherry plant is described as five months child here we may say the small cherry plant is described as a person so this is an example of personification 
Climax Climax is a figure of speech where successive words, phrases or sentences are arranged in ascending order of importance. Remember, in this figure of speech, ideas are given in ascending order. For example, pink, fragile, quick to fall. Now here, ideas are given in ascending order. So this is an example of climax. Remember, if ideas are given in descending order, it becomes anticlimax. Now in our poem, pink, fragile, quick to fall is an example of climax. Now we will learn poetic appreciation. Look at the question. Write an appreciation of the poem, Cherry Tree. Use the following points. Point number one, about the poem, poet and the title. Theme of the poem, the language and poetic devices. Special features, message and morals in the poem. Your opinion about the poem. After learning the poem, you may write appreciation with the help of given points. Now see the answers. Point number one about the poem, poet and the title. The poem Cherry Tree is written by a well-known poet, Ruskin Bond. He wrote a lot of stories and poems. Cherry Tree is a poem of struggle against adversity. The poet motivates us to fight against the adverse condition in our life. The poet observes the growth of cherry tree at his door and admires it. This is a narrative poem. It describes how the cherry tree came into existence. The title of the poem indicates the central idea of the poem. Theme. The poem Cherry Tree is about the poet's ecstasy over a tree which he planted eight years ago. The poet describes how the cherry plant becomes a tree. He also describes the blossoms of cherry and the grown up cherry tree which gave immense joy to the poet. This is about the theme of the poem. The language and poetic devices. Cherry Tree is a narrative poem. The poet narrates the growth of the cherry tree. There are many run-on lines. A run-on line means at the end of the line, the sentence does not end. The poet has used very simple language. Alliteration, antithesis, personification, climax, such poetic devices make the poem more attractive. Special features The entire poem, Cherry Tree, is a simple story of tree in a poetic form. The poet narrates the story of Cherry Tree and the feeling of ecstasy. This is also a nature poem. We learn to love nature. Message and morals in the poem. The poem Cherry Tree teaches a lot of things to the readers. The poem gives the message of struggle to achieve a goal. There is also a message of life. Now Cherry Tree is a symbol of life. It is also a symbol of life and hope. Don't lose hope. We learn this lesson from the cherry plant. The poem motivates the readers to plant trees and to protect the environment. We learn to love trees by learning this poem. My opinion about the poem. I enjoyed the poem Cherry Tree. Throughout the poem, the cherry tree is personified. Really, trees are our friends and relatives. We should take care of trees like children. The poem gives the message of the protection of environment. By learning this poem, I learn 
to admire nature and all living beings. Now in this way, we may write appreciation of the poem. Dear students, once again read the poem carefully and do the brainstorming activities given in your textbook. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.